imagine my heartbreak when I saw the video of Tyree Nichols. Imagine how my heart fell apart when I heard the young man scream for his mother. Imagine my anger when I saw police officer on a routine traffic stop yank a young black man out of the car, proceed to sling him to the ground, pepper spray and tase. Imagine my disgust with our judicial system who have allowed this to go on too long. Who have allowed this type of behavior to be positioned as being okay. It doesn't matter whether you're white, whether you're black. It doesn't matter. When you put on that uniform, you have an oath of office on your body. That badge says to serve and protect, not to take life, not to beat, not to abuse, not to misuse. When we live in a government that have seen this over and over and over again, your Rodney King, your uh, Floyd, George Floyd, your Breonna Taylors, um, your Fidel Castillo, when we see this constantly and our senators and our congressmen don't see nothing wrong with this, when the Justice Department don't see nothing wrong with this, when you start pacifying it and grazing over what's taking place and putting them on death duty, that's a slap in the face. That's a slap in the face. Imagine... This young man being blocks away from home on a routine traffic stop and was beaten until three days later, he died. How, how do people sleep with themselves? Officers are not the giver of life and they don't have right to take it. They don't. And I say this, if this is okay, this is continuing to be justified, then you need to open and unlock every prison door in the United States of America. Don't get on the news talking about, oh, our heart goes out to the family and to the mother. Don't get on the news and talk about, well, yeah, we fired the officers and it continually to happen and nothing has changed. Not one iota has changed. Matter of fact, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. There was five black officers who took a life that was not theirs to take. And the sad part, them same officers have families, have girlfriends, and potentially could have wives and sons and daughters. Would they want somebody treating their family member the way they treated that young man because it was uncalled for. But again, our elected officials have positioned it that it's okay. But yet and still, our elected officials want to talk about a uh, gallon of milk and loose cigarettes, but you don't see nothing wrong with the officers doing what they're doing. And then you wonder why people don't trust the police department. And it's bad because one apple, one bad apple, Five bad apples do spoil the bunch. Now, for those officers who are abiding by their oath of office, who is honoring their badge of the office, will be affected by what those five men has done. It's tainted across this land and country. 
every time a police officer does something stupid like the knee on the neck for George Floyd. Like uh, the gentleman who shot Laquan McDonald 16 times and they let him loose. Yeah. He's a police officer, but they let him loose. See, these are the things we look at. Our system is flawed. Our system is damaged. Our system is untrustworthy. We can't trust it to be fair. We can't trust it to be transparent. We see that on a daily basis. We see it. But again, you have jeopardized. Those officers have now opened up old wounds. And now you have jeopardized the lives of other police officers who are doing their job the right way. And that is unfair. That is totally unfair. There is no way to justify uh, outright none calls for a beating of a young man who never made it home a couple of blocks. And again, to be on the ground begging for his mother. And she can't help him. And neither does she have a clue that her son's life is being snuffed out by some bullies with a badge. Because that's what you are, a bully. And it's not just happening on the police department. It's happening in the prison system, too. They're doing it there, too. And somebody needs to stop it. And it needs to cease now. It's getting out of hand. It's been out of hand. When the right if Rodney King wasn't enough for y'all, I don't know what will be. If George Floyd wasn't enough for y'all, I don't know what will be. If Breonna Taylor, Fidel Castile, I don't know what will be. I don't know. It's like y'all don't care. But you cared about the insurrection of the Capitol. You want to release those people, and they intentionally decided to do what they did. And then here is my thing with the five officers. When I heard that they went up for second degree murder, that's not second degree. They intentionally did what they did. That is outright premeditated. They thought about that thing before they did it. Yeah, they did. Ain't no way in the world you can tell me by that video, they didn't think that thing out. They didn't have a reason to pull the snatch that young man out of his car. He asked him, what did I do? You violated his rights. Because you didn't tell him what he did before you snatched him out. He wasn't resistant. He wasn't fighting back. But when he felt like, and when he saw that his life was in jeopardy, then I saw when he got loose and he tried to run to save his own life. They kicked him. They beat him. They tased him. They sprayed him. Now imagine routine police stops. How they're going to be now. Nobody's looking at that. You're not looking at that at all. Not at all. Do we trust? Do we know? Do we pull over? Do we not pull over? That's the question. Are we? Do we have to go back and prepare our young men and our young women? about routine police stops used to be you didn't have to fear a routine police stop but now you do and it's sad now because of the ignorance of five police officers now the rest of the good cops gonna have to be on guard because there is somebody out there gonna feel a certain type of way if they get pulled over by a police officer and could you blame them no, you can't. But some of those officers who are good cops don't deserve to be lumped in to the bucket of the other ignorant police officers. Bottom line. But it is a bad look. It's a bad look across 50 states in this country. It's a bad look in our prison system because, again, it's happening there too. But nobody's talking about that. You know why? Because it's not caught on camera. But it's happening. And the awareness is being created. But... The people that I hold accountable for this is those various states um, who need to change the rules. Officers need to be fired and thrown up under the jail for taking a life that did not belong to them. No death duty, no retirement fund, no nothing. 
They need to be stripped completely. Yeah, and they need to go in the database. Exactly. No cushy prison. They need to go in the hard prison like y'all throw everybody else in there. What we witness on those body cams is no words for it. None whatsoever. No words can be described. And as a mother, my son is deceased, but as a mother, to hear the outcry of that young man for his mother was sad. Reality is where words come to life.